Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariah Faith, and today we're gonna we're gonna talk. Um, oh no. Uh, you ever experienced like secondhand embarrassment? I have not. I have not watched this video of Pastor Mike Todd spitting in this guy's face. Um, I'm gonna do it right now. I don't want to, cause I feel like I'm just, oh gosh, not everything is cringy, but this seems so cringy and I don't know why I would watch it, but it's been sent to me several times. So I'm gonna watch it. Okay, this is the first time that I'm watching this guys. So just bear with me. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm pressing play now, okay? But you hear They didn't even give me a chance. He didn't even give me a- What? Oh my God, what the hell did you do? Oh my gosh. Look, this dude got his hand, his head is down. His eyes is closed. What most people would do is turn away. You right, I would have done that. I would have been done that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Again, again. Oh, that's a huge, that's. What, what I'm telling you? Be strong. Somebody's playing right now. It's just as he's physically standing here, knowing what's coming. God's saying, can you physically and spiritually and emotionally be able to stand? When getting the vision or receiving it might get nasty. Okay. I'm gonna stay in a point just like that. Receiving vision from God might get nasty. Okay. You mean, God, I just bought in crazy faith. I just bought my dream car. And now you're gonna ask me to sell it back? Ooh. Ooh, that's. And ride in the hoop thing again? Stop. Yeah, because the vision I'm about to give you, it might get nasty. Oh my God. It's like, um, um, it's on his mouth, y'all. Oh my God. It's a string. It's hanging from his mouth. And see the response. He literally just picked this crap from his mouth. Why was his spit so stringy? What I'm telling you is how you just reacted. It's just, it's how the people in your life will react. Oh my God. When God is doing what it takes Ooh. for the miracle, Ooh. what are you saying? This man was blind. Um. And what he was trying to do with this man is give him his DNA. <sighs> that was as cringy as... <laughs> I thought it would be. As a matter of fact, I think it might have been more. Oh, that was cringier than I thought it would be. Oh, I just want to throw up. How he looked like this. Like that stuff was some lotion or Vaseline ointment. Like, oh my gosh. It was a string hanging. Like it was a string hanging down like a necklace off his nose, his mouth. He moved out of his mouth. Oh my gosh, y'all, I was not ready. Mm -mm. I kind of want to throw up just a little bit. I feel, I feel some way. I feel like, um, I feel like I'm not going to be able to unsee what I just saw. <sighs> Yikes. Okay, so um, a couple things now that I have gathered my thoughts and stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, one, they must not have COVID over there because what on earth? <laughs> we are literally in the middle of a pandemic, sir. <laughs> okay, I'll say since this video has surfaced, I mean, it had to have happened like this past Sunday, right? Uh, he's already apologized, which, um, you know, I, I, I'm glad he apologized. I actually don't think he needed to y'all might not like me for that but i don't think he need to apologize like that was between him and that dude that was on that stage he need to apologize to him uh i don't think he necessarily need to apologize to us though i understand why he apologized i will say like i feel bad for him because even in his apology 
he kind of states why he did it. You know, in order to stay relevant, you have to do crazy things, I guess. You know, if we are moving towards fame, if we're moving towards being popular, um, under the guise of we want it to reach as many people as possible, because that is a thing, then you will have to do things and get crazier and crazier and crazier in order to stay relevant. I, I hate that he felt the need to do that um, in order to be relevant. I hate that he felt like he had to do that. Yeah, so as for his apology, you know, again, I don't think he really needed to apologize to us for doing that. It wasn't, to me, it wasn't scandalous enough. It was just gross. Like it was just nasty. Yikes, you know, he didn't hurt anybody. I hope, I hope he ain't hurt that dude. We is in a pandemic though. And if he had any type of COVID in his system, like any ounce of COVID in his system, that dude got it. Like, oh my God. I hope that was his brother. I heard a couple of things saying that that was his brother. I'm not really sure. I don't know if they meant like his biological brother or his brother in Christ. I'm not really sure, but oh my gosh. He had to have known. And this is what I'm, I'm trying to figure out. You have people in your circle to, to, to support you, right? You have people in your circle to tell you, yes, you can do it. And then you have people in your circle who can tell you, no, you should not do this. I'm just trying to figure out how he got away with doing that. And nobody in his circle was like, you know, this may not, this may not, be the best idea. We are trying to go for shock, but the backlash that you might get from this may not be the best. And I guarantee you, I know there were people, he had to have run it by the people in his circle. That man on that stage was too prepared. He knew exactly what was going to happen. He already knew it. Because if he had not known, I promise you, I promise you, he wouldn't either, he wouldn't have been on that stage. He would have walked down immediately or he'd be like, oh, uh -uh, no, he like, cause you don't know what's part of the demonstration, right? You just know like, yeah, no, I don't know what you're doing with that spit, but no, right? So he had to have known, which means other people probably knew. I mean, at the very least his wife didn't know. His wife did not hear him on like the east wing of their house, like hawking and like he, she didn't hear that and be like, babe, what you doing over there? And then he's, you know, he could tell like, oh, you know, like I'm trying to, I think in my sermon, what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to spin my hand, rub it around like it's lotion and put it on uh, brother so-and-so's face on his eyes and stuff. And you telling me she ain't know that. She ain't know that. I think she did. I think there's a lot of people in his circle who had to have known what he was about to do. And so I'm trying to figure out, it's, I'm not even mad at him. I'm not even mad at him. Everybody got ideas, y'all. Everybody has ideas and we think they're good. They, they seem good in our heads, right? But that's why you have a circle around you to say, that's good in your head, but playing it out in real life, it may not, it may not come out that way. Okay, so I'm just, I'm not even mad at him for the idea. I am mad at his circle. I think that he's a good preacher. Don't get me wrong. I don't listen to his stuff, but I know that he does have a following that he reaches a lot of people with his theatrics. And I'm a very theatrical person, so I can appreciate somebody using demonstrations to uh, illustrate the word of God and illustrate, you know, the message that God is trying to put across. So I, I appreciate him for doing that. At the same time, uh, that's not a way to get to me. So even though I'm a very theatrical person, I when I hear the word of God from a preacher, I don't want that. So, uh, <laughs> but he ain't my pastor, so. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh man. I mean, the good thing is, is that like everybody's talking about it. Um, more people are probably talking about him than ever before, which probably was the point anyway, y'all. Like, let's not get it twisted. These people do know what they're doing. I just, I just question whether, from a marketing standpoint, they know what they're doing. 
I just question whether it was actually worth it. I don't think it was worth it. That was nasty. And it was very insensitive given the climate that we're in right now as, as a, as globally, internationally, like, you know, that's just, this PR team, man, they, I'm sure they accomplished their goal. You know, he, you know, I want to extend my following, spin somebody's face, that, that, that'll extend your following. He's, actually, you know what? Nah, he scarred me because that was, oh my God, I could never unsee what I just saw. Uh, oh, it was just as, cring as cringy as I thought it would be. But anyway, so those are my thoughts. You know, if you guys, like, if you guys want to share your opinion, comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. I am going to go watch some some comedy or something to cleanse my palate like oh my gosh i'm so hungry too i don't want to eat anything you don't even like you don't want to drink anything because now i think everything is spit in it anyway i will see you guys next week